the issue of LGBTQ really questions believers in the essence of judging and also showing compassion. The assumption is that by speaking against it, we are judging them. That's the wrong assumption. Because why should pointing out sin be seen as judging? And the society is putting pressure on the church and on believers. The definition of what is tolerance. Remember when we spoke in 1 Corinthians chapter 5? The person who had an incest relationship with his stepmother. And what did Paul say? We have to deal with this issue. We cannot tolerate sin to continue in the name of saying we are applying grace, we are accommodating, we are... No, 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 no. Maybe if they feel they are judged, it may be the interpretation of our communication or how do we treat the person? If somebody who is an LGBT walked here, we will not insult them, we will not abuse them, we will not, but he, he will not make us not say that it is sin. Have we judged him? No. They themselves are the ones judging themselves because you are living in sin, you are just feeling guilty even when people are not proclaiming it. So I know there are a group of Christians who feel like over and above saying it is sin, we must even try and kind of mishandle an LGBTQ person. That is now wrong. You are not being a loving neighbor. A loving neighbor is even your neighbors who are drunkards. You still do life with them and help them to the best of your ability, isn't it? So the LGBTQ guy is the same. As long as they don't try and communicate that we must shape and distort our doctrine to accommodate them. We will not uh, sanctify your lifestyle for you to feel that the church is now right. The church is right because the Bible says this is what is right. The church is not, rightness is not based on your opinion. It's based on what scripture says.